Okay guys, today we're gonna do a bit of an express warm up. Um, we're gonna get it done real quick. Um, you know, especially if you've been sitting at home all day, it's hard to jump right into class. We always wanna do some kind of a warm up and stretch. This one's gonna be real fast, so follow along with me. We're gonna do 20 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, now let's get those legs warmed up a little more. We're gonna do 20 squats, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, now let's get our calves warmed up. Let me turn sideways so you can see. We're just gonna do calf raises. Let's do twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, we're gonna do a half squat, so feet double shoulder width apart, lean down on one side. Good, we'll hold this for about ten seconds. Good, now switch legs. And again, about ten seconds. Okay, now we're just gonna switch back and forth a few times. Come up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, now let's go into the side split, slide up as far as you can. And we're not gonna hold this one very long today. Just get that quick stretch going. Okay, now go ahead and sit back. Okay, let's reach to one side. Again, hold it for about 10 seconds. Good, and switch feet. Good, and down to the middle. Again, 10 seconds. Together. Okay, legs straight, reach down, grab your toes. We're gonna stretch out the hamstrings. Good, and now let's do a butterfly stretch. Excellent, guys, go ahead and stand up. Okay, let's go ahead, go ahead and come over here to the wall. Um, I'm having you do a lot of your stretch kicks on the wall. Uh, if you remember, this just helps to keep your back straight um, and your head up when you're kicking. So let's go ahead and do 10 on each leg. Hand up, give yourself a target. One, two, make sure you're breathing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's do side stretch kicks also. So hand on the wall, get okay, hand out. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, hopefully you're warmed up. I definitely am. Let's get started. All right, let's start working on that spinning hook kick. We're gonna break it down into its parts. So I start in my fighting stance. Now my turn is gonna be real similar to my spin back kick. I'm gonna turn, point my heels, look over my shoulder. That's all the same. So again, I'm in my fighting stance, I'm turning over my back shoulder, I'm looking, 
My chamber is going to look a lot the same as well. I chamber, my knee comes up. But this time, instead of kicking straight out and landing forwards, I'm going to come across, and I'm actually going to land behind, back where I started. Make sure you're following along with me. We're going to go slow for these first couple. I turn, look, chamber. And from here, I extend, I pull across, I turn, and I'm landing behind. Let's do that again. Turn, point my hands. Look over my shoulder, chamber. And when I kick, I extend, I pull the leg across, re-chamber, and I land behind. It's important that whole time, it's not just my legs or my hips that are moving. I'm rotating my whole body. If I only turn the legs, oh, I'm going to pull my back. I'm not going to be able to land behind. My whole body is rotating together for this kick. Follow along. We're in our fighting stance. Turn, look, chamber, hook. Pull through, land behind. You're hitting with that heel. You're not slapping it. Again. Turn, look, chamber, hook. Make sure you're landing behind. You're rotating that whole body, not just your legs. Turn, look, chamber, extend, pull, land behind. All right, so now we're going to count off some sets of kicks. We're going to do five on each leg. If you're a little newer to this kick, you're having a little bit of trouble with it, go ahead and pause. Practice on your own slowly like we were just doing, really breaking into those parts. If you're more comfortable with a kick and you're ready for a little bit more of a challenge, go with me. We're going to be working a little more on that speed, on that rotation. So get ready. We're in our fighting stance. One. Turn, kick, land behind. Get ready for your next kick. Two. Move the feet a little, get ready. Three. Four. Remember, you've got to have a nice high chamber, not just swinging our leg through. Five. Good. Switch feet and do five on the other leg now. Remember, if you need to, hit pause, practice it a little slower. One. Two. Three. Four. Remember, we're rotating that whole body through five. All right, next set, we're gonna do full speed. Again, if this is too fast for you, hit pause, practice a little on your own. We're gonna do five on each leg. In our fighting stance, ready, one. And then get ready, pause a second, two. Pivot through, quick rotation, three. I'm still chambering, even though I'm going fast, I gotta get that chamber in there, four. Five. Good. Switch feet. Left leg full speed. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. And last one. Five. Okay, so let's work on that 
that spin hook kick now um, and how to land it in sparring. Okay? Now, the spin hook kick is a really powerful kick, but it's not easy to land. You have to land it at the right time. And one of the best times to land it is when your opponent is sliding towards you. So we have a drill that's uh, going to help you guys with the timing and how to land that kick. So if this rolls in a fighting stance, okay, if he just tried to do the spin hook kick from right here and try to hit me, you know, I can see that pretty easily. Okay, but if I throw a kick, let's say I throw a sliding kick, um, you know, I'm committed to going forward, so I can't back up. I'm already committed. So as I slide in, that's the best time for him to throw that spin hook kick. Okay, so I'm going to have him demonstrate um, against the pad here. So as I slide in with that round, you can see how, you know, I'm really exposed. Um, I'm really vulnerable to that spin hook kick. Let's do that one more time. So again, this pad is going to represent, represent my head. It's kind of bald like my head. Okay, so I come in, slide around, and he catches me. So that's the drill that Mr. Wall is going to be doing with you. He's going to be facing you. Okay, so let's get set up here. He's going to be throwing the sliding roundhouse kick at you. Every time he does that kick, you're going to react with your spinning hook kick. It doesn't matter if you're doing the right leg or the left leg, or if you want to switch every once in a while. Okay, so I'm going to let Mr. DeWall kick you guys, get in that fighting stance, react to his movement. All right, next round. I'm still going to be kicking slow, but now I'm going to add in those fakes. If I fake, that's not what you want to kick. Remember, you're kicking when I slide in. Let's go. Okay, everyone, if you have your gloves, go put those on right now. If you don't have them, don't worry. Okay, so for today's sparring, um, we're going to start off with a combination, a pretty easy combination, but we're going to use it in a more advanced drill here in a few minutes. But I want to go over the combination a few times with you guys. So let me start by turning sideways. So let's get in our fighting stance. Um, so with our sparring drills the last few weeks, we've been really working 
and focusing on our footwork, you know, moving as we throw combinations. So let's do a jab, jab, punch. And let's back up and do that again. Okay, so when I jab, I'm gonna step jab, step jab, pivot punch. Okay, that's gonna be our combination. So start following along with me, guys. Jab, jab, punch. And back up, let me face you. Okay, jab, jab, punch. Notice how I'm keeping myself covered the whole time. The hands aren't here. Okay, it's not jab, you know there's an opening. It's jab, I'm covered. Jab, I'm covered. Punch, I'm covered. Okay, again. Okay, jab, jab, punch. Just nice and slow, no speed right now, guys. Get this perfect. Jab, jab, punch. Good, again. Jab, jab, punch. Okay, again. Jab, jab, punch. Nice, again. Jab, jab, punch. Good, again. Jab, jab, punch. Again, a little quicker. Okay. Jab, jab, punch. No quicker than me though, okay? Jab, jab, punch. Good, again. Okay. Jab, jab, punch. Good, again. A little quicker. Jab, jab, punch. Again. Jab, jab, punch. Hopefully you guys are remembering to breathe at home. Jab, jab, punch. Again. Jab, jab, punch. Again. Jab, jab, punch. Jab, jab, punch. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the drill. Okay, so for the next part of the drill, you're gonna need a focus item, okay? I simply have a chair. Now, we're not gonna be hitting this, we're not gonna be kicking over it, um, so it really doesn't matter what you have, okay? Um, you could simply put a dish towel on the ground, a shoe on the ground, doesn't have to be big. That's just the item we're gonna be focusing on um, and throwing our, our combinations towards that item. So get something real quick. Again, it doesn't have to be anything major. Um, so when we're sparring, um, you know, most people when they first start to spar, they move in two directions, forwards and backwards, okay? And the problem with that is, is it becomes really predictable. You know, uh, when, when uh, you start sparring higher level people, we just simply wait. We wait because we know eventually you're only going two ways. You're going forwards or backwards, and we usually wait for you to come forwards, and we're waiting there with an attack, okay? So you need to be a little more unpredictable. You need to move laterally, and you need to learn to circle. So that's what we're gonna work on, okay? Um, you know, if you think about it, if I'm right here, and if I only come here, you know, you're, you're gonna see that, okay? So this focus item, we're simply going to move to the side, move to the other side. And whenever I say combo, or actually I'll say attack, you're gonna give me that jab, jab, punch, okay? Um, so we wanna start learning to attack from different angles, different, uh, different uh, ways, not just forwards and backwards, okay? So let's go nice and slow. Again, back you know, a few feet away from your, your focus item. And if we start to move one way, Okay, and remember how we move, okay? Step, step, we're staying in that stance. Now if I say attack, jab, jab, punch, and then return. Okay, so let's go the other way. Now I'm just gonna be going kind of circling uh, around the chair. I'm not gonna go all the way around. You can do that if you want, um, but you really don't have to. As long as you get used to moving side to side a little bit, okay, that's fine, okay? And attack, jab, jab, punch, and return. Attack, jab, jab, punch, and return. You wanna keep your opponent constantly guessing. They don't know where you're gonna attack from. Because when you change angles, they have to change angles. If you think about it, you know, if you're lined up right in front of me, okay, um, you know, I can defend you pretty well, but if you start to circle over here, okay, now you have a straight shot at me, so I have to move. So I can't really be thinking, 
you know, I'm gonna wait for them to attack me. I'm gonna wait for them to attack me. I'm gonna hit them. Now I have to think, oh, I have to watch them move and I have to watch them move and I have to, you know, so now you're kind of taking charge of that match a little more. Okay, let's practice some more. Okay, so circle to one side and then the other side and then the other side and attack, jab, jab, punch. And again, this drill is not about speed. It's more about technique and attack mindset, okay? You gotta remember to work on this in sparring um, because it takes a while to make this second nature, to make it a habit, okay? Eventually, if you do it enough, it's just gonna be something you don't even think about. You just do it naturally, okay? Let's keep practicing. I know I'm talking a lot here. And let's go the other way. Attack. Now, if you guys have been following all the, uh, the videos lately, you know, we've been working on a lot of different movements, okay? Um, you know, head movements. So you can start to incorporate those kind of things into this drill, okay? So if you're a little more advanced, you know, as you're moving, bouncing the feet, moving the head, working on the face, okay? Your shields, moving side to side, so put it all together now. Attack, jab, jab, punch, keep going. Attack. 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 Okay, guys, good. Take a little rest. We're going to come back for another round. Okay, everyone. So for the next round, um, this time, do whatever attacks you want. We're still gonna keep it just punches for this round, uh, so you can you know, keep things a little simpler and focus more on your technique, okay? So whatever punches you want, if you're, you're happy with that jab, jab, punch, just keep throwing it. You know, the main thing is that you're throwing something that comes out uh, quickly um, and you know, without thinking too much. You know, when I say attack, you shouldn't have to think, uh, 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 what should I throw? Okay, because if you're thinking and sparring, you're gonna get hit. Okay, so keep it simple. Again, jab, jab, punch is fine, or whatever you guys want. Okay, so start adding in, you know, your extra movement if you can, um, and listen for that attack cue. Okay, so we start to move side to side. Attack. Attack. Just constantly move side to side. Okay, move side to side. You ready to attack? Attack! 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 If you can see, I'm keeping my combos real simple. I'm not going crazy with these. I want to have fast reactions. Okay, keep moving. Attack! 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 end of round two. Okay everyone, round three, final round. This time you get to include those kicks, okay? Um, so kicks, punches, whatever you guys want. Let's put it all together. So start moving around, circling around, attack. 
Attack! 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 Attack. 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 Notice how after I attack, I'm con I'm moving right away. Attack! 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 Okay guys, good work today. Okay guys, last week we did a similar drill for you guys. This one's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. So, um, if you can, you know, get like a small ball, a plastic one, or what I actually find works really well is socks, okay? If you got a pair of socks, you know, kind of bunch them up like this. Um, and, you know, what we did last week was we threw the, the ball up and we tried to hit it out of the air. We're gonna do the same drill, but now we're gonna throw and hit with the same hand, okay? Now, um, let me show you guys a couple of examples here. You know, I'm gonna throw that up and then I wanna, hit it, and you can hopefully see, I know it went off camera, but see how they went straight? Okay, so um, we're gonna try a couple different versions of this. You know, the easy version is to throw it up high. The higher you throw it, the more time you have to hit it. Okay, so we'll start by throwing it up high and hitting it, um, and just practice that a few times, okay? Then once you feel like you got that down, Throw it only up a little bit. Ah, oh, I didn't hit that one very well. Let's try it again. Throw it up just a couple of inches and try to hit it. Okay, I'll do it with the ball here. And again, you can see how I'm hitting it straight. If you're hitting it downward, you know, that's not how we throw a punch. That punch has to go straight and snap. I'm gonna throw it up just a little bit. Okay, you can see how it went straight and came right back to me, okay? Again, throw it up just a little bit and hit it with that same hand. Let me see if I can do it on the other hand also. Okay. Okay, guys, so have a little fun with that drill. Practice that for the next five minutes, um, and have fun.